Hi guys, had a comment from Jafet Perez suggesting I should do an underwater rover. So I assume he means a car that will go underwater. You're going to get two for the price of one here. I made this car, a simple rubber band powered car, a week or so ago. Very simple one, made from milk carton. A couple of ball pen tubes for the axles. And the wheels are actually rollers from a old printer. And what I've done is I've just put a couple of lead weights in it, put it in the bottom of the bath underwater, and let it go, and it goes quite happily underwater. So that's a very quick, very simple underwater car. There's nothing to get rusty. Um, the fact it gets water in it doesn't matter at all. There's no electronics or anything like that, so that one works fine underwater. But I'm also going to make a little electric car to go underwater. See if I can arrange for that to run under battery power underwater. So I'll put this one away. And I'm going to make the car out of one of these storage containers. And the idea is it'll go that way up. All the electrics will be up at the top end and the wheels and the axles will be under the bottom. I'll have to work out how much weight it needs to keep it sitting on the bottom of the bath. But the idea is it'll just be all the electrics will be in the air bubble under there. Now for wheels I'm going to try these. These are from an old kitchen hob, a uh, gas hob. These are the discs that go in the middle of the burners because the weight will help to hold the car on the bottom of the bath. Drilled my holes so I can use garden canes. They're not um, particularly straight anyway, but that'll do for the axles fit that onto the lid so that I can mount the motor on top of it so that will be out of the level of the water. So the motor and battery will sit on top of there. And I'm thinking of using a reed relay and a magnet so I can turn it on and off from outside by having a reed relay inside and holding a magnet outside to turn it on and off. Covered the bottom with double sided sticky tape. This is the little reed relay I'm going to use. I think the circuit board came from a, one of those battery operated window alarms. Quick demonstration, battery, reed switch, electric motor, magnet on the end of a stick. These reed relays can be a bit delicate, you really don't want to start mucking about with them, um, trying to bend the conductors or anything, so I'm using the circuit board it came on and I'm going to add a bit of hot glue on the back so that my wires if I pull my wires at all, they won't damage the reed relay. Need to cut a hole or a slot in the lid there so that the rubber band can go through. I'll probably use my soldering iron and just melt a hole through so that I don't accidentally split the plastic because sometimes this plastic splits. try it out. I'm sure there'll be a lot of people very pleased to see this. Duct tape. <laughs> I've duct taped my lead weights on 
onto the car to hold them in place. I've also swapped the polarity on the motor so it's now rear wheel drive instead of front wheel drive. certainly won't move on dry land. There we go. go. One underwater rover. Obviously I haven't got a big enough pool to show it very well but that's working. And just for fun the rubber band powered car. much easier to build. Summary time. So what have we got here? We've got an underwater rover, electric powered. The wheels are the centre discs from a gas hob. Um, so I assume they're something like cast iron or something. They're quite heavy but that wasn't heavy enough to sink the car to the bottom. We've actually got two, four, three ounce weights, two, four, and two more. So that's six four ounce weights. So six four is twenty four ounces, and four threes are twelve. So whatever that adds up to, twenty four and twelve, thirty six. Yep, thirty six ounces of additional lead weight to get this thing to sit on the bottom. All that we've got inside is one of my hairdryer electric motors, 9 volt battery and a reed switch which I'm using to turn the motor on externally by waving a magnet over the top of it to make contact. Pulleys came out of an old printer. The wheels, the axles are flower canes the axle tubes are drinking straws and we've got polystyrene packaging in various places to pad it out. And that's it. That was a success. The other car, I'll put a link to the um, video that I made that. That wasn't designed to go underwater, but you would see that it worked perfectly well underwater with a couple of lead weights to hold it down. And that's it. Job done.